What's up everyone, GitHub Unwrapped is launched. I am super glad about it. And we learned a lot about building programmatic video apps over the past few months. So I'm going to turn as many insights as possible into some video content, starting with how we saved thousands of dollars by optimizing our React code to bring down the render costs. I'm going to show you how we benchmarked the renders, identified which parts of the video were slow and how we fixed those bottleneck in the code using some very unsophisticated tactics, which were nonetheless very effective. I started out by rendering a Remotion video via the Remotion Lambda CLI and passing the dash dash log equals verbose flag. At the end of the logs, we see how much the video cost. Initially, this was 8.5 cents. And as you can see, we brought it down to around three and a half cents. The first step was to look at these logs. Here we can see the most expensive frame ranges. It would have been helpful if we also put uh, here which chunks uh, those frame ranges belonged to. I'm going to add that for the next Remotion version. And with this information, we can take a look at the CloudWatch logs. So I can visit the logs by clicking on the link that was printed here. And then I will see a lot of logs for this render. Um, I would click on the chunk that was slow, load the full logs, and at the bottom, we will see frame by frame timings and figure out which frames took a lot of time to render. Having identified the time at which there is a bottleneck, we open the Remotion Studio and seek to exactly this time. And in this case, we would realize that this point of the video was the most expensive to render. Now, we don't know exactly what part of it was expensive. So I used a really dumb technique of just going into the component and removing like half of the markup, just bisecting it and rendering again and see if this chunk would have been sped up significantly. If it did, I knew that the problem was somewhere in this part. If not, I knew it must be in the other half that I didn't delete. It turned out that we had a really heavy SVG that was very long and uh, therefore takes a lot of time to render. And we just replaced it with an image and actually that already reduced the cost per render by about one and a half cents. Another thing that can be slow on Remotion Lambda, but that is pretty unintuitive is GPU effects like linear gradients or radial gradients. Those are super fast locally, but once you render them on AWS Lambda, they become pretty slow because AWS Lambda does not have a graphics unit. So what we did to make it faster was to pre-compose the gradients into some PNGs. We made it so that in a browser, a CSS gradient is being rendered to preserve some bandwidth. But during rendering, we actually render an image. And even this can be solved programmatically. We pre-rendered those gradients using Remotion so that a whole script would go through all of these gradients and turn them into PNGs, you can find out how we did it in the GitHub Unwrapped repo. The final bottleneck that we had was in this scene. When we are doing the zoom in effect, we are having an SVG with a huge view box and zooming this in is for some reason really expensive for browsers. And uh, we could only partially optimize this but if you look at the whole composition without having the pan effect, you can see that we ended up not rendering the lower part 
of the paths after zooming in. And with that, we also saved about one cent per render or so. So by eliminating our three biggest performance bottlenecks, we more than halved our rendering costs. And this has also saved us over $2,000 so far, given that we have rendered about 50,000 videos now. So I wanted to turn this into a video explaining how we did it, sharing it with mainly people who are using Remotion Lambda and who maybe have some cost optimization potential. And from now on, I'm also going to link this video to anyone who is asking me how much it costs to render a video on Remotion Lambda, because the answer is unfortunately, it depends on a lot of factors.